some countries and companies are trying to reduce the number of plastic straws that are being used. However, what seems to be overlooked is why do we use plastic straws in the first place in our drinks? Well, in general, we use a straw with a cool drink, which is already in a glass or some other convenient drinking vessel. Using a straw to consume the drink does initially seem to be a rather inefficient way of consuming the drink. However, the reason why we use straws relates to some of the unusual properties of water and also how the food industry tries to cater for our tastes whilst maximising their profits. Stopping the use of straws may have some serious implications for how some businesses actually operate. So to start looking at the issue, let's first look at what generally you're wanting in a cool drink in the first place. In general, we want a cool drink looking for something about the same temperature as a domestic refrigerator, or about 4 degrees centigrade. Anything much warmer than that really isn't a cool, refreshing drink. Anything much colder is just too icy. Now, getting a drink at 4 degrees is quite easy in most homes which have a refrigerator. Any bottle put into the fridge for a few hours may be fairly close to 4 degrees centigrade. However, in a commercial setting, this means that all the drinks have been refrigerated well ahead of time and also with a fridge door constantly being opened and closed we may often have difficulty getting a drink down to four degrees. Now to avoid this issue some places use drink dispensers where the drink is cooled as it's poured. Over in here the drink may be sitting around warming up before it's completely drunk and therefore not being quite as refreshing as the customer may like. So to solve this problem most companies will add ice to drinks not only cools the drink down, but also with ice being generally far cheaper than the drink itself, you can make more money by serving drinks with ice in them. However, drinks with ice in them behave in a rather strange way due to the properties of water. Firstly, the ice, which is a solid form of water, floats on top of the liquid rather than sinking to the bottom as most solids do when placed in their liquid form. In cold water, actually says it's densest around 4 degrees centigrade. Water is either warmer or colder than that being less dense and therefore being higher up in the glass than the liquid at 4 degrees. So if you have a drink with ice in it, the ice will be floating around the top of the glass surrounded by liquid which is fairly close to freezing. And in general, people will find this is too cold to drink comfortably. And what they really want is that liquid which is at the bottom of the glass close to that ideal 4 degrees centigrade. And as you've probably figured out, this is where the straw comes in. The straw allows you to bypass all that really cold icy water and able to access that ideal 4 degree layer of liquid at the bottom of the glass. So companies stop using straws with their drinks and may start to find that some of their customers are less satisfied with their drinks than they were before. They may have to focus on cooling the drinks other than by using large quantities of ice directly in the drinks. Of course, if companies start using less ice in the drinks and use other methods to cool the drinks down, it may have a significant effect on their profit margin. The additional costs may be passed on to the customers in the form of higher prices for their drinks. There may be some rather unexpected consequences from removing plastic straws. While many places are considering substituting a plastic straw, with straws made from other materials, even if they maintain their original business model when it comes to serving drinks.